The star Sirius is the brightest star in the night sky. Astronomers have calculated its distance from us at being 8.5 light years. It was noted only in very recent times, thanks to modern telescopes, that Sirius moves together with another star, much smaller than itself and invisible to the naked eye. Scientists call this two-star system Sirius A and Sirius B. The larger of these is Sirius A, which is the brightest star that can be seen with the naked eye. Its mass is three times that of the Sun, and it is ten times brighter than it. Sirius B, on the other hand, is a white dwarf star. It cannot be seen with the naked eye. It possesses approximately the same mass as the Sun, although since its diameter is only four times that of the Earth, it is very much more dense. The stars in the Sirius system are heading towards our direction at thousands of kilometers an hour. The duration of the rising of Sirius on Earth's horizon is exactly the same as our solar year. In other words, 365 days and 6 hours. Because they had discovered this interesting common feature in the star Sirius and the solar system, the ancient Egyptians declared the day when Sirius first appeared on the horizon to be the first day of their calendar year. Because of such characteristics, the star Sirius became a focus of interest for a great many ancient civilizations. It was believed that this star possessed various powers, and some people even went to such excesses in their depravity as to worship it. The fact is, though, that it is God the Lord of the Worlds who created the star Sirius and all the features it possesses, just as he did everything else. God refers to Sirius, known as Shihra in Arabic, in verse 49 of Surat An-Najim of the Quran. It is he who is the Lord of Sirius. The Sirius double stars orbit in ellipses around one another. The orbital period of Sirius A and B about their common center of gravity is 49.9 years. This scientific data is today accepted with one accord by the departments of astronomy at Harvard, Ottawa and Leicester universities. This information is reported as followed in various sources. Sirius, the brightest star, is actually a twin star. Its orbit lasts 49.9 years. As is known, the star Sirius A and Sirius B orbit each other in a double bow every 49.9 years. The point requiring attention here is the double, bow-shaped orbit of the two stars around one another. We've seen that the star Sirius is referred to in Surat An-Najim, verse 49. We also encounter a very wise analogy in verse 9 of the same Surah. He was two bow lengths away or even closer. As we have seen this far, the star Sirius is referred to in verse 49 of the Surah. And verse 9 of the same Surah contains the expression two bow lengths to refer to the two stars' orbits. When we combine the numbers of these two verses, in other words, 49 and 9, we obtain the number 49.9, the duration in years of these stars' orbits. Here we are faced with a mathematical miracle of the Quran. Given the technological means available 1400 years ago, 
It was, of course, impossible for people living then to know that the star Sirius, one of which is too small to be seen with the naked eye, was actually a two-star system, that both these stars' orbits were in the form of a bow, and that those orbits lasted for 49.9 years. Scientists only came by that information towards the end of the 20th century. Yet our Almighty Lord, the Creator of everything from nothing, the Absolute Ruler, has miraculously revealed these facts in the Quran. And God knows best. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وقال الذين لا يعلمون لولا يكلمنا الله أو تأتينا آية كذلك قال الذين من قبلهم مثل قولهم تشابهت قلوبهم قد بينا الآيات لقوم يوقنون